today uh, we continue to study Greek grammar. Uh, we are studying the indefinite adverb as you're looking at the screen here. Uh, today is the last verse uh, that we are practice about indefinite adverb. Uh, indefinite adverb is an adverb that is not clearly expressed or defined for place, direction, time, duration, or method. So we study pote, Luke 22:32, John 9:13, and then popote, Luke 19:30. Today uh, we are going to look at the John chapter 1 verse 18. Let's go and look at the John chapter 1 verse 18. So we are going to look at the ABI, the parsing code, which stands for the indefinite adverb. And then the word is popote. So 118. Uh, 118 uh, here says, uh, I'm uh, reading from the New King James Bible. No one has seen God at any time. Pretty good, right? At any time. As you see on the right side, popote which is parsing code as you see here, ABI, ABI, right? Mm -hmm. At any time. The only begotten son who is in the bosom of the father, he has declared him, declared him. So here he, obviously, if you look at the uh, uh, verse 17, the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is the one he here, right? Mm -hmm. And Jesus Christ is the only begotten son. Only begotten son. So let's go uh, look at the Greek text so we can compare at least New King James Bible. And then on the Greek text on the bottom, uh, that English is the King James Bible. So at least we can compare between the original Greek text versus King James Bible and the New King James Bible. Then let's go ahead and then look at that. Theon. So you see the theon, noun, accusative, masculine, singular. So this is the object then, right? Which is God. Udeis. Udeis is the adjective pronominal Cardinal number, nominative, masculine, singular. So this is a subject, right? And then heoraken is the verb. And then theon is accusative. This is the object. So subject, verb, object. As we learn the uh, five different type of English grammar structure, this is the type three sentence. And then heoraken is the B-I-R-A, verb, indicative, present perfect, active, third person singular. So third person singular, this is the nominative. English translate no man because it is the masculine singular. And then you King James translate no one. So no one, no man is good, no problem. But I do prefer to translate no one or nobody because we're talking about the masculine. If we use the man, it can be confused between the human being and the husband and the adult man. That's why I prefer to use the no one or nobody. But no man's still good to go. And then heoraken, uh, we have a chance to uh, study about the horao verb. The lemma is horao. Uh, when we study the John, uh, first John chapter 1 verse 1. And then I do not translate it as has a seen, right? Mm -hmm. Like uh, English or so, New King James has a sin. I translate this one, has stared. Let's go look at the dictionary. What is the concept of the horror verb? 3708. So that's why I use the stare, which is the proper word, proper translation. And then the rest of them is the, the supported concept to the horror verb. 
So implication is discerned clearly, physically or mentally. So stare means the purpose is to discern clearly. So through experience. Let's go look at the their dictionary. Their dictionary all pretty much say see. See with the eyes. That's why it is a stare. And see with the mind, perceive no. So you are discerned clearly, right? Mm -hmm. So that is the concept of the horao, stare. Why you stare? So you can discern clearly, physically, or mentally. So has a stared. Popote at any time. At any time. And then there is the semicolon right here, right? As you see here. Mm -hmm. Ho monogenes, huios, ho on a stone, colpon to patros. So this is a nominative, adjective nominative, noun nominative, right? Mm -hmm. So then this one is the another subject here, right? English translate the only begotten son. And then uh, New King James, the only begotten son. But monogenes, I am translating only born. Because mono is the only. And then genes comes from the kinomai. Kinomai means to come into existence. Let's go look at the dictionary, this one also. And then this one, the strong number. 34, 39. You see here, only born. Monogenes, right? And then their dictionary. Singer of his kind only. Used for only sons or daughter. Right? So this is a compound word. Mono is obviously only. Okay? So or single, which means only mono. Genes comes from the kinomai verb, which means become. And then the become means stayer dictionary, come into existence, begin to be, receive being. So only begotten is fine, it is acceptable, but to me, only born. Only born, adjective modified to the noun, son. And then the status of the only born son status is the, the one. Because definite article, noun, masculine, singular, talking about the one who is the only born son, the one. It is not is, right? As you see here, you see VPP. This is the present participle. What is the present participle of the B verb? Being, right? Which means being means existing. So VPP, as I say, the concept of present participle is continuously, habitually, repeatedly being and existing. Who? O monogenes huios, the only born son, who's talking about Christos Jesus here, right? Mm -hmm. So then we can fix. It is now who is in, okay? The one being, the one being continuously, habitually, repeatedly existing. We are going to study about more detail about on, which is the being. Next one is the a stone corpon to patros. Right? Ace is not in. I was talking this one many, many times, isn't it? In order for the English Bible translate in, there is an in, what is it? N preposition in the Greek word, right? What is the N means? It is fixed, right? No motion, right? But it is not in. This is a ace. Let's go to the dictionary again, 1519. Dictionary show two or into, I choose into, because two can use for the dative. But this is not dative, ace is the preposition. So better to choose the into. 
that what is the ace in two means. In two indicating the point reached or enter. This is the preposition accusative. What is accusative means purpose, goal, target. You have a purpose to reach. You have a purpose to enter. You have a target to reach and enter. You have a goal to reach and enter. That's why this is the expressing motion. So you are into place, you are into times. To do that, you are you you have a purpose, you trying to get the result. So motion and action into. And then at the same time, when ace becomes the number, we already learned the adjective. The cardinal number, there is a three cardinal number in the Greek. Ace, Mia, N. So Ace is number one. Then you are moving into, because motion, you are moving into point to reach, enter, place, time. You are moving into purpose to get the result. Then the result should be then what? Result is one. Result is the one. That's why the concept of ACE is you are moving into, into. So ACE is into. Why you are moving into? To get the result. The result is what? Bosom of the father. That's why this is an accusative preposition. Mm -hmm. You have a purpose, you have a result, you have a goal. So once you move into, you are in the. After you moving into, and then fix this in, which is a Greek preposition is n. N is number one also, right? We just saw that. So you are in the bosom of the father. This is a fixed. Before you are in status, in status. You have to become into action status. So you King James translate incorrect, King James translate incorrect way. And then tone corpon to patros, the bosom of right, genitive, genitive of the father. And then echanos, echanos is not he. You see, this is an adjective pronominal demonstrative. Noun masculine singular. Who is the noun masculine singular? Right here. This is a noun masculine singular. So masculine singular. That one. Because no one, nobody. That one. Who is that one? The only born son is the that one. Right? Let's go look at the dictionary. 1565. See the that one? If it is used as a neuter, that thing, okay? Because this is a demonstrative. And then, exegesato. English, King James, New King James, both of them translate as declare. This is not declare, okay? Exegesato. This is a compound word. As you see the lemma here, ek, ek is out, okay? Hegeomai is the lead. Then exegeomai is what? Lead out. It is not declared. Let's go to the dictionary, 1834. English say consider out, rehearse, and unfold. Again, this is an act, 1537, which is out. Bring out of the place, bring out of the time, bring out of the cause. That's why act used as a preposition, out of, out of, out of original place, original time, cause. It's out of their place, okay? And then, hegeomai. Hegeomai is to lead, okay? So, Lead out, hegeomai, you see, lead. 
So exegeo might lead out. So then this is a subject. And same subject is here. That one is the, the only begotten son. What is the status of the dead? The only born son. The one being, why he is existing continuously, habitually, repeatedly. So he can bring us using the grace of God and truth of the God. So we are moving into the bosom of the father. Right? So in order to do that, bring us into the bosom of the father, the only begotten son, lead out God. He lead out God. Okay. They want lead out God. So we all in the bosom of the father. Who are the one in the bosom of the father? The father is the only true God. But this one is what? You see, there is no definite article here. There is an important thing is showing up here. Apostle John in the John, Gospel of John, showing us. When you understand the text, we have to very, very look at the detail whether that noun has the definite article or not. He lead out God. Which is a God is the accusative. So this is a subject, this is a verb, this is a object, right? So then we can conclude the translation, Greek literal translation. So first one, this one, no one has stare. God. Okay. No definite article again. No one still got. Okay. And then colon details comes out. Uh, at any time. We're going to say at any time, right? At any time. Okay. At any time. Okay. Indefinite. Indefinite time. At any time. Colon. The only born son who is the one being into the bosom of the father. The one. Led, because this is a aorist, which is a past tense. So instead of lead, led out God, which is God is here, God is here, which is this one used the accusative, and then this one also accusative on this part. So no one has discerned clearly mentally and physically God at any time, right? At any time. Uh, we know that this is a verb imperfect present per uh, verb indicative present perfect hora verb heoraken. We already learned the heoraken. The John is written by Apostle John. When we go to the first John, same person, Apostle John, written it, right? Same thing, he is also using the heoraken, which is a verb indicative present perfect. Let's go there, first John. Verse, chapter 1, verse 1. And then here it says, as you, as you see here, Heoraken. Okay? So that which was from the beginning, which you have heard, we have what? Stare with our eyes, which you have looked upon, our hand have handled concerning the word of life. And the life was manifested, we have seen. You see, we have seen. Again, Heoraken, B-I-R-A. So he is the one, Apostle John is the one, see the life. He is the one, see the word of life. 
And then we study at the time, what is the whole? In S, neural singular. We went down to the verse 5. That is the, the God is light. Light is the neural singular. So light is the life. Life is the word of God, word of life. He has stared. He discerned clearly present perfect status. That's why there is a time you are not able to discern clearly the God. And there is a time you discern clearly the God. Like Apostle, Apostle John right here. Then Apostle John, based upon our seven days process, he is the last Adam, isn't it? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45. First Adam is the living being. Last Adam is the life-giving spirit. Through second Adam, Christos Jesus. So whoever become one with Christos Jesus, they are the one who discern clearly present perfect status, the word of life, the God, the light. That's why here, 118 is talking about one day through the fifth day status then, right? Based upon our seven days. Because one day through the fifth day, it talking about verse 1 through the verse 18 here, because here talking about law was given through Moses. Okay? And then the, the John the Baptist, this John is not the Apostle John, John the Baptist bore witness of him, cried out saying, this was he, this is Jesus Christ. He witnessed, John the Baptizer, of whom I said, he who comes after me is uh, preferred before me, he was before me. And of his fullness we have all received and grace for grace. This is another incorrect translation. If you look at the grace for grace, this is anti. Anti is not for. Anti is the instead of, which means a substitution. That's why Christos anti-Christ. Christos anti-Christ is the, he is acting like a Christos in the opposite part. Instead of, let's go look at the dictionary, 473. Opposite, which means instead. Instead of, which called the, here, the concept is the substitution. If your teacher is absent, oh, there should be a substitute teacher, right? Then who are the substitute teacher? One day through the fifth day. We already learned 2 Corinthians chapter 11, the serpent deceived Eve by providing the, another Jesus, different spirit, different gospel. Then no one has discern clearly God at any time, one day through the fifth day. Because you only receive the grace. Now for grace, instead of grace. Then this grace is what? Given through Moses, right? And then given by the John the baptizer. That's why when you go to the New Testament Bible, When you go to the uh, Matthew here, it shows uh, uh, two different locations. One place is the Matthew eleven thirteen. All the prophet and the law. Law is the Moses law, right? Grace. All the prophet. So fourth and fifth day prophesies until John. So law and prophet John is the fifth day person. If you are willing to receive it, he's Elijah who is to come, right? And then Luke 16, 16, the law and the prophet were until John. So until John is the fifth day. Since that time, since that time, from the sixth day, the kingdom of God has been preached. And everyone is pre pre uh, pressing into it. So this is the grace. Law and the prophet until John. Until fifth day is the grace. Grace. Instead of grace, the kingdom of the God, 
It is preaching by the Christos Jesus. Then not only the grace, we just saw that when we go to the John chapter that place, not only the grace instead of grace, grace and the truth, isn't it? Truth is added. So grace instead of grace, and then law was given through Moses, but grace and truth. Grace and truth through Jesus Christ. So one day to the fifth day, law and the prophet, Moses and the prophet until John, you only receive the grace of the God. But because of Jesus Christ is born inside me on the sixth day, we are receiving the new knowledge, new wisdom, new power. So no one has stared God at any time, one day through the fifth day. But like we just saw the Apostle John, seven day man, oh, he is clearly discerned the God. He clearly knows the God because he received the truth of the God, word of life. Very clear. That's why when we go to the uh, John, when we go to another place, John chapter 14. You know, Jesus is about to go to the crucifixion. So let, your, let not your heart be troubled. You believe. Again, this is another incorrect translation. You look at the right side. You see here, into. Motion and action to become one. You believe into God. Believe also into me. Both of them, it used as the ace. ace. And then Jesus is about to leave. And then the Philip is talking here. Philip said to the Jesus, Lord, show us the Father. And it is sufficient for us. Because the one we are studying today, John chapter 1, verse 18. The only begotten Son, the one being, why he is existing. Bring us to the bosom of the Father. But here, talking about, Philip say, show us the Father. And it is sufficient for us. And then Jesus said to the Philip, have I been with you so long and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has sinned, look at the he who has sinned. Heurakos. Horao, stare. The one, you see VPR, present. Perfect. Participle present perfect. The one has stared me. You see again, Heora Keman, B I R, Horao, present perfect. Right? Has seen, has stared the Father. Then whoever learned from the Christos Jesus, whoever hear from the Christos Jesus, they are the one who discern clearly the Father. So it's a horror word. How can you say show us? Show us is the deikunyo. Deikunyo is a physically showing, like an exhibition, display. God is invisible. God is a spirit. God is life. God is light and life. And spirit. You are not able to see physically. But here, Philip says, show. They can you. Physically show. Exhibition. God is not the one who physically can understand and see. It is a horao. You have to discern clearly, physically and mentally, accompanied with Christos Jesus. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the work. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the work themselves. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. That's why whoever learned from the Father, whoever learned from the Father and hear from the Father, they are the one who discern clearly the Father. They are the one through the Christos Jesus. They are moving into action into the bosom of the Father.
So what work are we talking about here? Jesus say, by the work, I work, which is a present work, right? Let's go to the John chapter 5, verse 17. Jesus answered them, my father, it is not has been. Look at the right side. Has been is the present perfect, isn't it? Present perfect passive. And then ing form, right? Look at that verb. You see, my father until work. You see, ergazo mai, ergazetai. B-I-P-N. Verb indicative present. Present work is talking about. When we're talking about the uh, tense in the Bible, how can we understand the tense? We already learned that, right? Past become a present, future becomes the present. Present man is the one who become the kingdom of God. Present man is the one who become one in the Father, in the Son. Because past is the known part, future is the unknown part, right? As past is getting bigger, future getting smaller, right? Then when future becomes the or no, which is born of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus, presence of Jesus, all becomes present. But people who understand fourth and fifth day church, Jesus was born, crucified, resurrected, went to the heaven. That's what they believe historically, right? 2024 years ago. And they are still waiting for the Jesus. Okay, tonight or tomorrow, year later, 10 years later, when? It won't be that happen. Bible is a spiritual book. All has to be happen where? In my life. In my physical life. To become the present man. God work. I also work. Present. Present. My father work. Until now, I work. Then what kind of work are we talking here? Seven days work, isn't it? Life-giving spirit as the last Adam, right? That's why we went to the Genesis chapter 2, verse 2. In the seventh day, God ended his work, right? Even they say ended, but, you know, we, we are, those listeners does not have a chance to listen to the Hebrew, but this is a BPI, PL verb, which is a PL is a, uh, intensive active verb. I is the imperfect. P begin to finish. God's work imperfectly finished in the seventh day. His work. So God work presently, present. Same as Jesus work presently, present. Then what work are we talking? Same work. God's work, son's work is the same, right? Let's go to what kind of work? 43.99. Deputy Sheep Ministry, which is a father's ministry, Jesus' ministry. Father's work, Jesus' work. This is a noun feminine, Malaka. Malaka is the same as 43.97, which is the noun masculine, 43.97. That work is the messenger's work. Jesus is working the messenger's work, seven days man. And father also doing the messenger's work through the prophet, priest, teacher, which called the angelos in the Greek word. So father work, my work. And last Adam's work is the life-giving spirit work, right? Mm -hmm. Their work they doing, Jesus doing, and then when the Jesus went to the heaven and come back as the Holy Spirit, comforter and the helper, and who become one in the Christos Jesus. We are doing the same work. That's what Jesus is talking about, John chapter 14. About answering the Philip. That's why, believe me that I am in the Father, the Father in me. Or else believe in me for the sake of the work themselves. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, into me, you see here, the one believing into me, continuously, habitually, repeatedly to become one with him, into him. The same work, the work I do, he will do also. 
and the greater work than this he will do because I go to Father. Then what is it? Father's work, only, only born son's work, Jesus Christ's work, my work will be the same work, which is the seven days man, seven days work as a last Adam, life-giving spirit. That's why here is a 12, when we coming down to 20, verse 20, in that day, in the seventh day, my seventh day, okay, when I become a perfect man, seventh day, you will know that I am in my father, you in me, I in you. We all in the bosoms of the father. Father work becomes the son's work. Son's work becomes the my work. Then I am the one who has stared God because I become the word of the God. I am God. John chapter 10, verse 34. Jesus answered the Jew, Is it not written in your law? I say, You are God. If he called them God, to whom the word of God becomes, the scripture cannot be broken. That's why they are perfect gods. But it is a star as the imperfect, isn't it? Right? We are going to look at John chapter 1 verse 1 after this. So then at any time only covers one day through the fifth day. Sixth day, Christos Jesus is born inside me. New knowledge in you, wisdom born inside me. Then I am able to stare, discern clearly the God. That is the time we are released from the sin, isn't it? Then what is the sin? When we go to the John, the first John, chapter 3, verse 6. Whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sin has neither seen him. Look at the sin. S-E-E-N. You see how? Heuraken. Same thing. B-I-R. Has a stare. Okay. So the one sin neither has a stare him. Nor known him. Known. B-I-R. Present perfect. It's not present man. Because it is not perfected yet. Not discerned clearly yet. Because it is not present perfect yet. Because negative here. Who? The one sinning. You see VPP continuously, habitually, repeatedly sinning. Then what is the sin? Before the Bible is not fully manifested in my life, the sin that we were understood is the morality sin, isn't it? That's why I was mentioned many times. United States only authorized one husband, one one wife, legally marriage. But there's a lot of country out there, one husband authorized to have a multiple wife, more than two. Are you going to say to them, to those country, they are sinning? Absolutely not. God is the God of the Americans. Then God is the God of them also. God is the God of all human beings. That's why when we receive the spirit of his son, when Christos Jesus born inside me, we know clearly what the sin is. Sin is not morality sin. Biblical sin is not morality sin. But those are guardians and stewards until the fifth day. They are teaching the sin as the morality sin. That's why Jesus said hypocrite. When we go to the Matthew chapter 23, they are teaching the God's commandment as the man's lesson, man's wisdom. When you see the Hamara Tano, this is a 264. It is the Mr. Mark. Mr. Target, Mr. Mark. Let's go to the dictionary 264. You see Mr. Mark? What does that mean? What is our target? What is our goal? 
today's sentence is what? In the bosoms of the father. Father is in me, I am in the father. Son is in me, son is in me. Father, son, myself, all becomes one. Right? Then whoever does not moving in action to do that, they are all sinner. That's why when Jesus is about to leave, Jesus she clearly defined the sin. When you go to 16.9, about sin, this is of sin, it's about, Perry is ab about, concerning, about sin, because they do not believe what? Not in me, into me. There is no motion in action, Christos Jesus. But one day through the fifth day, I am God also. But inside me, there is imperfect God. Then perfect God becomes the seventh day. We just look at the John chapter 10. So John chapter 1 verse 1, NRK, in my beginning, in beginning, this beginning is my beginning. This beginning is the beginning of the Christos Jesus, which is the sixth day. John chapter 1 is the in beginning word. When you go to the mark, mark says in beginning of gospel of Jesus Christ. My beginning, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the message, good news of Christos Jesus, I am hearing. That's my beginning. John chapter 1 also. But the word is what? Word is imperfect. You see B-I-I-A? Word exists imperfect. Until when? Law and prophet is until John. Until the fifth day. And the word exists imperfect, B-I-I-A, verb indicative imperfect. So English translate was, but was is already perfected, isn't it? Action complete in the past. It can be one day before, it can be one hour before, it can be one million years before. Was is already action complete, but this is not was. Exist imperfect. Word exists in perfect. Word exists in perfect. And then process also critically wrong translation. We already learned, right? Forward to the God. Moving forward to the God, right? Direction 43, 14. Forward to, toward. Preposition of what? Direction. It is not with. You are moving forward. That's why it is the preposition accusative, goal and target and purpose. You are moving forward to the God. Then imperfect word inside me is moving forward to the God. Believe into Christos Jesus. Right? About sin. They do not believe into me because they are not moving forward to the God. That's why they are imperfect God. Imperfect God exists inside me one day through the fifth day until Christos Jesus lead out God in my sixth day. That's why you see here the word is what? Existing perfect God. Imperfect God. You see, there is no definite article here. You are imperfect God. Yes, your external appearance is a human being. You have a nose, you have eyes, you have hair, you have two hands or whatsoever. Uh, spiritually, the world is imperfect. The God is inside you imperfectly. Then sixth day, Christos Jesus is born inside me, isn't it? By receiving the spirit of his son, right? We went to the Galatians chapter 4. Now I say that the heir, as long as he's a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is master of all, is under the guardians and steward until the time appointed by the father. Even so, we, when we were children, we were in bondage under the elements of the world. These elements of the world was taught by the guardians and steward, but elements of the world is burned, right? When we go to the second Peter chapter 3. They translate elements of the world, but the Greek word is the stoicheion. 
when the fullness of the time had come, when sixth day comes, God sent forth his son. Only begotten son, only born son, only born son, right? Born of a woman, born of the Mary. What is the meaning of Mary in the Hebrew? Rebellion, born under the law, born under the Moses law. So law and the prophet is until John, until the fifth day. You have to get out of born. English translate born, if you look at the right side, the Greek text is a kinomai. Kinomai verb is a become. I just explained about that. Monogenes, right? Mono. Kinomai, right? Become. So, became out of woman, became under Moses' law. To redeem those who are under the law, under the guardians and steward, under the elements of the world that we might receive adoption as son. Because you are son, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into where? Into your heart. Jesus is born in your heart by receiving the light of the gospel. We went to the second Corinthians chapter four. The gospel is veiled, right? The gospel is veiled. Born of Jesus is veiled. Crucifixion is veiled. Resurrection is veiled. Presence of Jesus is veiled. Who are perishing? Who make it veiled? God of this age, Satan and serpent make blind. Who do not believe? Least the light of the gospel, light of the gospel, glory of Christ. Should shine on them. Shine in my heart. Right? God command light to shine out of darkness. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Into my heart. The light is what? Light of the knowledge. The light of the knowledge is what? Light of the gospel. The light of the gospel is what? The gospel is fully manifested in my heart. By receiving the seventh trumpet. Right? Seventh trumpet. We went to the book of Revelation chapter 12, right? Seventh trumpet is sounded by the Mikael and his messenger, right? In my heaven, right? Then war is broken up. Then what happened? There is a two heavens here. One heaven is the, the woman, Mary, is about to bring forth the child, the baby Jesus. Another sign is the, the dragon. That's why by receiving the seventh day, perfect gospel, gospel of Christ, then the dragon and serpent, they cannot win. They cannot prevail. So they cast down into my earth. Right? So those are the ones we already learned that. So then when we hear the seventh trumpet based upon the John, imperfect word, that imperfect word become my flesh, right? When we're coming down, the word become flesh. Then this word is the seed, right? When we go to the Luke 8, 11, the parable, the parable is the seed is the word of God, right? So go back to the John chapter 1, verse 14. The seed become fell into my flesh. Then dwell among us, right? So Jesus is born inside me. I receiving the seed. Seed is the word of God. That's why when we go to the Luke chapter one, see how Jesus is born. 135. The messenger answer said to the Mary, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Jesus, the, the, the Gabriel is coming, talking in that way, right? Mm -hmm. And then with God, nothing will be impossible. But English does not translate this one though. You see, with the God, which is the prize of beside the God, nothing will be impossible. 
but they did not translate this one. Or krema, krema word. Krema is translated as word. This is the logos is a masculine word. This is the neural singular neural word. Then Christos is born Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit come upon the Mary. Then baby Jesus is born, right? That krema born through the krema word. Then what is the krema? We went to the John chapter 6, verse 63. It is a spirit gives life. Last Adam is the life-giving spirit. Flesh profit nothing. The words, look at the words. You see Hrema? Right side Hrema. That I speak to you are spirit and life. So Hrema word is the Holy Spirit. Hrema word is the life of God. By receiving the Hrema word, there is a seed into my flesh. I receive the Holy Spirit. I receive the life of God. Then Jesus is born inside me. Then who are the Jesus? Jesus is also the word of the God, isn't it? When we go to the Revelation chapter 19. 1913. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood and his name called what? Word of God. So the word of God is so into my heart, Jesus is born inside me. Then born of Jesus, and then I crucify together, right? That's what Apostle Paul is talking, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live. Christ lives in me, the life which now I live in the flesh. The world becomes the flesh. I live by faith in the Son of God. Then why Jesus is existing for on? The only begotten Son existing. Right? It is not is, like I say, you see VPP. The one being continuously, habitually, repeatedly, why the only born son existing? Yes, I just explained that the purpose is to become one, moving into action, into the bosom of the father. Right? Mm -hmm. He has to exist in because Alpha status is imperfect, right? Because word is imperfect, right? Mm -hmm. Then moving into, this is what? The sun has to be existing continuously, habitually, repeatedly, so I can become the omega, which is a life-giving spirit, last Adam. So when, when I was the first Adam status, I am imperfect God. Word is imperfect, imperfect God. When I become the Omega, last that I'm, life giving spirit, I am perfect God. In the God, in the Father, which is only true God. In the seventh day. So my work, only begotten son's work, my work, or becomes the same. Same work we are doing there, right? That work is the giving the life of God. That's why he's existing continuously, habitually, repeatedly. That is talking about when we go to the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 8. We fix this one, actually, right? We correct this one, right? Let's correct again. English translate incorrect. Here you go. Here. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Here, I am the Alpha Omega. So far, so good. I am the Alpha and 
the omega. Beginning. There is no term, no definite article. Beginning and end. There is no definite article. Beginning and end. Okay. The Lord says. Okay. The Lord says. Okay. And the Lord is the only born son. Christos Jesus is our Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Verse 45. The second, second Adam, second man is the Lord. Lord is Christos Jesus. You see here, ho on. The one. DPP again. It is not is, right? Being. Or existing. Incorrect translation here, okay? He is keep on existing. So I start as alpha to become the omega. You see ho on, same thing here. Ho on, why he's existing? Imperfect world to become the perfect world. First Adam become the last Adam, right? That's why he's existing. And then the one here, the one. It is not which, you see DNMS. Definite article, nominative, masculine, singular. Who are the masculine, singular? Masculine, singular, NMS, Lord. It is not which, the one. BIIA, you see BIIA, we just saw the John chapter one, verse one. The one exists in perfect. Or infinite, indicative, imperfect. Exist in perfect. Which means alpha status, beginning status. Alpha and beginning status, imperfect status. So from the imperfect status, he's existing continuously, habitually, repeatedly. And the one, again, it's not which is the one. Erkomai, Erkomenos. You see BPP? It is not to come. This is not indefinite verb. This is the present participle, coming. So same thing, existing and coming, so I can become the omega, I can become the telos, which is the end. So those English translation, King James and New King James, all totally incorrect translation. Then imperfect status, the Lord is existing, coming continuously, habitually, repeatedly, okay? He has been come inside you, continuously, repeatedly, habitually, not just tonight, not just years later, not just 100 years later, he's coming again, okay? He has been coming continuously, repeatedly, habitually as I was born until I passed away, finished my life. He is existing continuously, habitually, repeatedly. But when I was born, he is in perfect status. That's why he's keep existing, he's keep coming, so I can become an omega, so I can become the telos. Then why he's keep coming in, he is keep existing. So I can receive the water of life from him. When we go to the Book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 6. He said to me, it is done. This is, it is not done, okay? Again, kinomai, D-I-R. It has become, it came into existence. It has came, come into existence. I become the seventh day man. I am the alpha and the omega, beginning and the end. I will give the what? Fountain of the water of life. Freely to him who thirst. Which is I become the life-giving spirit. When I become one with Christos Jesus as a seven-day man. He who overcome. We are conquering the world. We are overcoming the world. In every all things, I will be his God. He shall be my son. We are in the bosom of the father. So, we are able to giving the life-giving spirit. That's why when we go to the John chapter 316, it is not 15, whatever believes in him, right? Into him, right? You see here, the one believing into him, the one repeatedly, continuously, habitually believing into Christos Jesus. 
The one who's not doing that, that is a sin. Sinner is not have stared. Sinner have not discerned clearly the God, right? God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whoever again believes into him should not perish, head, but have everlasting life. So only born son repeatedly, habitually, continuously existing inside me. So I can possess the everlasting life. I am able to giving the water of life when I become a seven days man, right? So I am in the bosoms of the father. About the bosom, I would like to go to the Isaiah chapter 40. Forty ten. Behold, the Lord God shall come with a strong hand. His arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, his work before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lamb with his arm, carry them in his bosom, bosom of the Father. So Christos Jesus is a good shepherd, and we are his flock. But before Christos Jesus is born, we went to the Luke chapter 2. There was the shepherd who keeping prison. Now watching, right? We already learned that, right? They are the garden and store. They are the fourth and fifth day, leaders and pastors. So Christos Jesus is the good shepherd, and we are his flock. And he carry us in the bosom of the Father, into the bosom of the Father. Gently lead those who are with young. That's why when we go to the John chapter 10, Jesus is the, our shepherd, right? He who entered through the door is the shepherd of the sheep. That's why I talking, we are not sheep forever. We are the candidate to become a good shepherd, same as the Christos Jesus. When we coming down 11, Jesus say, I am the door, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gave his life for the sheep. Seven day man, same thing. We as a good shepherd providing the water of life, we are give our life for our members. So the sheep also become a good shepherd. Good shepherd is the seven days man. That's why when we go to the John chapter 21, Jesus talking to when he resurrected, he's showing to the Peter, right? And then they have eaten the breakfast. Jesus said to the Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than this? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to, to him, feed my lamb. He said, tend my sheep because you are the good shepherd as the seven days man. Showing the way, the truth, and the life, giving them all fountain of waters. Third time, Peter grieved them because he said to him, the third time, do you love me? He said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep, tend my sheep, feed my lambs. Feed Christos Jesus, knowledge and the wisdom. So you can feed my sheep and you can feed my sheep. Father work, Jesus work, my work is all the same work as the seven days man. Exegeomai, lead out. This one is the 1834. We just look at the dictionary anyhow. About the lead, we can go to the Matthew chapter 2. To 6. You, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the ruler of Judah, for out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people of Israel. You see here? Hegeomai, lead. So Jesus is the one leading. The one leading. 
So leading is the one. Come out, tend my people. It is not rule. Koi maino. It is the shepherd work, which is the tend my people. So it is not at any time when we come to come into the sixth day, but one day through the fifth day is the at any time. No one has a stare discerned clearly. That's why John chapter 1, verse 1 through 18, the 18 we learned today, in my beginning is imperfect word. Life is true light, which is the word. It is an imperfect status. It forward to the God. And verse 5, the light shine the world, the darkness did not take it eagerly, which is a katalambano, because darkness belonged to the Satan and serpent. And 14 says the world become flesh, which is Christos Jesus is born inside me. When the word of God, which is a hrema word, he fell into my heart. And 316 says, believing into him. There is a release from the sin, isn't it? And then Ephesians 4, 13 says, grow into the unity of the faith and the knowledge of Christos Jesus to become one, to become a seven days man, perfect man. Then we are reaching to the bosom of the God, the Father. The seven day last Adam is the life giving spirit. They are the God's living. They are the sons living of the God who possess the eternal life by doing the work of God. Then we are the one who has a stare, who discern clearly. We are in the bosom of the Father.